In today's video, we are going to be having a look at the altar of incense, which was the last piece of furniture in the holy place before we enter the holy of holies. If you've missed the other videos in this series, I'll leave links to them below. But the, ta the altar of incense can be found in Exodus 30, and I'm reading from verse 1. Make an altar of acacia wood for burning incense. It is to be square, a cubit long and a cubit wide and two cubits high. Its horns of one piece with it. Overlay the top and all the sides and the horns with pure gold and make a gold molding around it. Make two gold rings for the altar below the molding, two on each of the opposite sides to hold the poles used to carry it. Make the poles of acacia wood and overlay them with gold. Put the altar in front of the curtain that shields the Ark of the Covenant Law before the atonement cover that is over the tablets of the Covenant Law where I will meet with you. Aaron must burn fragrant incense on the altar every morning when he tends the lamps. He must burn incense again when he lights the lamps at twilight. So incense will burn regularly before the Lord for the generations to come. Do not offer on this altar any other incense or any burnt offering or grain offering, and do not pour a drink offering on it. Once a year, Aaron shall make atonement on its horns. This annual atonement must be made with the blood of the atoning sin, sac sin offering for the generations to come. It is most holy to the Lord. So that was Exodus 30 verses 1 to 10. Now this altar of incense is a symbol of prayer, a type of prayer, and we read in Revelations 8 verses 3 and 4, another angel who had a golden censer came and stood at the altar. He was given much incense to offer with the prayers of all God's people. On the golden altar in front of the throne, the smoke of the incense together with the prayers of God's people went up before God from the angel's hand. Then the angel took the censer, filled it with fire from the altar, and hurled it on the earth. And there came peals of thunder, rumblings, flashes of lightning, and an earthquake. And what we see here is the angel at the altar offering incense, which was the prayers of God's people. And so this altar in the Old Testament, the altar of incense, is a call to us to pray. And it also reminds us that Jesus is praying for us. We are told in the Bible that Jesus intercedes for us before God's throne. But he's also calling us to pray. And that is what this altar stands for. If you would like to learn more about this altar and other aspects of biblical typology in the Old Testament tabernacle, we encourage you to take our Udemy course, which I will leave a link to in the description below. And you can also watch our other YouTube videos or listen to our other podcasts where we describe the other parts of the tabernacle and what they mean. We trust that you've enjoyed this week with us and we look forward to meeting with you again next week. Thank you and goodbye.